Let me just start my video, please. Your video? Yeah, I'm just going to record this interaction. Okay. I need your license. For what makes you believe that I need that to travel from point A to point B? Because you have no license on your, <clears throat> no license plate on your vehicle, sir. Would you like to see my paperwork? Yes, I would. I asked for it three seconds ago. That's not what I have for you, sir. Okay. I have here the definitions from the Motor Vehicle Code, I have the Supreme Court decisions and everything you need here to understand that I don't need a license, registration, or any documentation to travel from point A to point B. It is a right that has been preserved by the Supreme Court and the law of the land. Okay, sir, in order to drive in Colorado, you need to have license. It's not driving, the ID. definition says right there, sir, driving is doing commerce where you're employed you on the road. ID? I don't need to present ID unless I'm in the commission of a crime, sir, I have not okay. committed any crime. You violated traffic law in the state of Colorado. The definitions okay. are right there, sir. If you'd like to go to court, we sir, can handle it. I need it. your ID, okay? I need your license, insurance, registration. You operate a motor vehicle. Did you all, even look at my paperwork at all? Sir, I'm, I'm looking at your paperwork. It's Did you read the definitions? The motor vehicle code definition is in there. It says okay. driving is doing commerce on the roadway. I am not doing commerce. I am not employed. If you could please get a supervisor out here, I'd appreciate it, sir. Okay, do me a favor and then turn the car off then. I'll get a supervisor out here for you. Okay. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, sir. Okay, can you just turn the car off for me then? Am, am I obligated to turn my car off? I, I'm not intending to go anywhere. I'd like to handle this matter and settle it right now. I, I have no reason to leave. Why would I do that? Okay. I'm getting another unit out here for your request. Sure. Okay. All I ask is to see your license, insurance, and registration. I'm telling you that I don't have such because I'm not required to by law. It's been upheld. It's been upheld the by the state of Colorado. You are required to have it's, a license, insurance, registration. It's federally and been upheld. Motor vehicle on state roads. The definition is right there from the motor vehicle code. Driving is defined as doing commerce on the roadway employed by somebody. I am not employed to do commerce on the roadway. I am traveling in my private property from point A to point B, which, as it says in there, is my right to do so. Upheld many times in the Supreme okay, Court. Just hang out for a sure, no problem, bud. Just got stopped by uh, one of the officers here, so I am recording. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. Gave him my paperwork, and uh, yeah. Time for your license search registration. Okay, I, sir, there's no there's no circuitous route here. I'm telling you. Can you, you do, please tell me your first and last name and date of birth? I don't believe that I'm obligated to give you any of that from information unless I'm in the commission of a crime. Yeah. If I'm wrong, please produce the law for me. I'm entitled to see the law if that's the law. Uh, this is nothing personal. I have no issue with you. I'm simply trying to abide by the law of the land and by the motor vehicle code and by all the rights given to me in this country. I don't know what motor vehicle code you're following, but in the state of Colorado, you need to have a license, insurance, and registration to operate a motor vehicle on state roads. Okay, can I give you the definitions of that by, by Black's Law's Dictionary? Operating a motor vehicle, a motor vehicle is defined that's in... That's not the dictionary I follow, man. I follow the, the that's Colorado what... Then, that, then you have a conflict of interest with the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court, which is the highest law of this land, follows Black's Law's Dictionary. So I'm not... I'm not interested in contracting with you or following anything that you follow. Like I said, even in the motor vehicle code, which you guys are, are following as a corporation, the Supreme Court is beyond that. But let's just take the motor vehicle code. The definition of my understanding of a motor vehicle is a vehicle that is doing commerce on the roadway. It even gives definitions in the code. It says tractor, trailer, bus, or a taxi, right? Taxi driver, bus driver, truck driver. I am not a driver because I'm not transporting or in the in the act of trafficking any goods or peoples. I am... Let me ask you a question. What were you doing right there on Colfax then? Operating the motor vehicle. Would you consider yourself a driver? No. Of a motor vehicle? Absolutely not. A driver is... Driving in, a car. A driver by definition. I understand there's a colloquialism that we don't understand here, or maybe they haven't told us or we don't understand, but the word driving by definition means you must be employed by somebody. So I was not driving. I was traveling in my private property from point A to point B, which, like I said, the Supreme Court has upheld many times I have the right to do so. If I was, let's say, doing Uber or uh, uh, some form of hauling goods or, or services on the roadways, then yes, the government has a right 
to know that I can operate the roadway to do that business and then tax me, of course. But I'm not doing such. I'm traveling from point A to point B in property that I purchase privately and legally and lawfully. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What is your name, man? Why do you not want to identify yourself? I just don't, I just believe that nothing personal to you. I have had some incidents in the past where there, any information that I give, as you know, can and will be used against me in a court. And I don't believe that I have any necessity to give any information. I'm a, okay. you, uh, see, you see my name. Right? But you're required to produce your name because you are a government uh, uh, employee. It actually says I can ask you for three forms of ID, which you have to produce. You cannot ask me for, this is by my understanding of you guys's contractual law to uphold the Constitution and, and even the codes, quote unquote, of the state and the city. My understanding of that is, is I am not required to provide any of that information unless I'm being charged or, or you know, some kind of crime is suspected, which I don't sure, believe. You're being charged for violating traffic code right now. If you want to, if you want to bring those charges, that's fine. But when we go to court and they convict me in the local court, I will go to Supreme Court and you will be held accountable and liable for those charges, just like a credit card. You cannot bring charges and not be held liable for them because the responsibility and onus is on the person bringing them. So you, I would hope that you'll be able to prove in a court of law based on case law and everything else that I don't have a right to operate, excuse me, not operate, see this is the game, I don't have a right to take my private property from point A to point B, which, I, like I said, the Supreme Court ruling is in that documentation I gave you. All the definitions are there. So I'm not coming from my own manifestation. I'm not coming from something that I want to be true or made up. I've read the definitions. I've gone through the case law. I've looked at the Supreme Court decisions. It's, it's expressly stated in there. The law is expressed, not implied. This is my understanding of it. You know, I'm not, I've, I'm a man who does no harm, and that's how I live my life. I live my life by truth and doing no harm, the law of love. You know, I have no issues with you or anybody else, and I'm not in the, uh, doing anything wrong at this time. I've caused no loss, injury, or harm to anybody. I'm okay. taking my property from point A to point B. Do you live in Lakewood, Denver? Where do you live, man? I would rather not answer any questions, sir. Okay. Do you live in the state of Colorado? I'd rather not answer any questions. Okay. Well, you're operating a motor vehicle in the state of Colorado. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. Motor vehicle is defined in the paperwork as a vehicle on the roadways doing commerce. This is not a commercial vehicle. You're operating a light blue Nissan Maxima with no license plates. And I'm not operating. I'm traveling from point A to point B. At this time. Then I guess, I guess we have a disagreement in the understanding. I've presented you paperwork. You've presented me nothing other than your understanding. So my understanding is backed by definition, Supreme Court rulings, and the Motor Vehicle Code. You've given me nothing except what you believe to be true. So where can we go with this? Statements that I've made to you are ones that are produced in the Colorado Revised Statutes. Can you show them to me? On traffic law. Can you show them to me? I can I'm not I mean, gonna go grab the book right now and just open it up and scroll through the pages for you. Well, I was kind enough to have all my paperwork and things in order and my understanding here to present you to you. You have not provided me with any proof of insurance, any driver's license, or any proof Sir, of registration. Sir, the paperwork that I provided to you makes those things not applicable to me because I am not doing commerce on the roadway. This you provided is me three printouts of the definitions of the words in the motor vehicle code and the Supreme From Court ruling. Website. Didn't you didn't you swear an oath to uphold the constitution and the law of the land? The Supreme Court is the highest law in the land. So that one de that one decision that I showed you should be enough for you to either go and and look at what I'm presenting again and give a, give a deeper more detailed look at it or to understand that we have no interaction right now because like I said, there's many Supreme Court cases on file. That is the law we're supposed to follow in this country. We can have disagreements in local court, but these have already been decided upon. The Supreme Court will hear my case as well if you guys bring charges, because I will take it there. We will be bringing charges. Sir, you, I, I, again. You for violating law in the state of Colorado. The word violation in law means to cause loss, injury, or harm. It also means to sexually advance on someone when it's unwanted. I did not do any of those things. So, you know, again, we have to get our words and terms in line with the definitions of what we all are agreeing on here is the English language. We cannot use words and not agree on the definitions. I'm not making up my own definitions. The state of Colorado is a whole other discussion. And furthermore, it doesn't even come into this because, like I said, any roadways federally, the, the people, a man, a woman has a right to use the public roadways for, to travel from point A to point B. It's been ruled on. You cannot have a government organization who's supposed to work for the people come in to tax the people to use what is the people's. That is fraud. You may disagree with me. I, however, have the truth, the definitions, the facts, and the case rulings on my side. 
So like I said, if you bring charges forth, I expect you to show up on the day of whatever the, the proceeding will be. And then I expect you to show up at the Supreme Court proceeding. And we will have a discussion in front of whoever needs to be there about what I have the right to do and not do. Since you seem to believe you have a right to stop me and take up my time and take a right off me, we'll have that discussion if that's what you choose to do. I don't believe you should because I think by conversing with me, you can ascertain that I am an upstanding, intelligent individual who's out here doing no harm and I have no, you know, there's really no reason to have any issues with me. Why is that? Because like I said, uh, you know, and we, we can get into all the thing. I don't know if you're interested in all that, but you see where our country's going and what we're doing right here is part of the reason why. But I'm glad we're doing this and I expected this, you know, so it's not really an issue for me. You know, I, I, I have to stand on what's true and what's right. I have to stand on my conviction, you know, in my heart and, and what the, the, the definitions and the understanding tells me. So that's all I'm attempting to do. Well, I think we might have a misunderstanding upon definitions here. Again, the Supreme Court, it's been the Supreme Court, so let's say we both didn't understand definitions. Supreme Court has heard all these cases, and the judges have ruled over and over again that the right of the pe if you want, I can search them for you right now, the quotes, the right of the people to use the public roadways is an untaxable, uh, 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 uninfringible right. You cannot tax somebody, force them to get registration, force them to get insurance. You cannot force any of that. All interactions are in this country are supposed to be voluntary. They're not supposed to be under coercion and duress. Do this or else, you know? And you can't use fear and safety as a reason to take people's rights, okay. you know? Well, my supervisor's here if you said you wanted to talk to him. I mean, again, it, it's, it's, it's more about what you plan on doing, because if you plan on moving forward contractually, then obviously he's going to be the one here to supervise that whole situation. And then he will be on record to go to court as well, being okay with the fact that he supervised you, stopping me, taking my time and my rights, and then telling me that I don't have a right to do what's already been ruled on, I have a right to do. Okay. That's the only reason I want him here, so that we're all under the same understanding. Sure. Hi, How you doing, sir? Good. Hey, I'm Sergeant Valdez. I understand your sovereign stuff and everything and all that. Are you? What do you prefer to be? Yeah, like, I don't even. I don't. Living man, or how do you? I don't do you even like term? to get into the terms and sure, labels. No, I'm just a man. Yeah. Okay. You know, just the like you are. Or just a man. Or just a man. You want just like you are a man. You know, Understood. you're a man. Understood. I'm a man. Understood. And from my understanding, again, like I told this man, was that sure. I've done my research. I have a conviction in my heart. Okay. My mind and my logic aligns with that logic, morals, and ethics. This is private property. I purchased it legally and lawfully. Understood. And I'm taking it from point A to point B. And the Supreme Court has ruled that I do not need to register, license, or any of that unless I'm doing commerce on the roadways. I hand it in the definitions. has all the definitions there. What's in the Motor Vehicle Code and what Black's Law says. That operating motor vehicles defined as doing commerce on the roadway. I understand. So, sir, just, just so you know, obviously, we, we don't recognize that within our municipality laws. It's stuff. common law. And, and, and I understand the common law and stuff, but our laws are, are obviously not in tune with your common law and the way it's practiced, so the court's going to have to be the one to dispute those. Does he, do you understand the reason he pulled you over? And you under, Absolutely not. Why? Okay. Absolutely have not. Have you been told why you've been pulled over this afternoon? He told me stuff? his perception, but I don't understand okay. it at all. Okay. And so... So we can help you understand the perception of why you're pulled over and what he told you. What did he specifically tell you? He, he believes, like a lot of officers sure, believe, sure. that the common law, like you just said, mm -hmm. does not apply to them. However, this is not my common law. Common law is the law of the land. It's backed by the Supreme Court and the Constitution. What is the officer's common law perspective on why the stop was initiated for you? Oh, I would have no idea because common law is defined as loss, injury, or harm needing to take place in order to move forward. I did not do any of those things. Okay. So his corporate law or legal understanding would be that... I am an employee of a corporation. I would, I would assume this is understanding somewhere because, again, motor vehicle means a vehicle doing commerce on the roadway. Driver means someone employed by someone to do commerce on the roadway. The code even describes tractor trailer, taxi driver, or bus driver. That's why we use the term driver. Anybody who's behind this is not a driver. A driver is defined as someone employed to do commerce on the roadway. I am not that. I am a man taking my property from point A to point B. So what is the reason for the stop today? No plates, okay? That's a common thing that we obviously enforce and do with our laws and what we believe in and what we have to do. So the probable cause exists for him, not with you and your understanding, for him to go ahead and initiate a traffic stop 
based on the plates. What is his reason to believe that I'm driving this vehicle? Well, you're operating the vehicle and driving it, and you were observed driving it. Whether you I wasn't believe... driving. Driving is defined as commerce. Driving can can you read you... the paper? I understand your version of it. No, that's the definition by it. Black's Law Dictionary and the Motor Vehicle we, Code. We, we, don't, we don't follow that The Supreme law. Court does. So then well, you... we, we, we're not the feds. We don't operate under the Supreme Court. We yeah, but you swore an oath to uphold the law of the land and the sure, Constitution. Absolutely. The Supreme Court is the highest law of the land. But ours is under a municipality and ours is under the Jefferson County Division. So you'd have to go to the Jefferson County for anything. Has he issued you any ticket or done anything? No, sir. Well, exactly. So... We're in a common state here of just talking about the sure. situation, and that's it. And you're being cordial, and you're... And that's a good thing, things. because we no. need to have these discussions. Well, that's it. And so that's what he's discussing with sure. you. Sure. So understanding your beliefs and, and what you think aren't necessarily ours, because what we have to practice a certain thing, there's an understanding there. I hope you know that. Obviously, we pulled you over, because we don't have the same understanding of what your understanding is of the law. Do you understand that? As long as we have a common agreement on that, I'm good. You're going to have your definition of it is... We're going to have what our obligations are. But what is yours based on? So ours is based on Colorado revised statutes and traffic codes that we are to enforce. That's what ours is based on. The term on. trafficking means to take goods from and one I, place to another. I understand that. That's why drug trafficking is defined as I taking drugs that. from one yeah, place to the I other. I'm not trafficking anything. But by I'm our, traveling, sir. Listen, but listen, by, by, by our standards and our Colorado revised statutes, you are an operator of a vehicle operating a motor vehicle. This is a motor vehicle. And I and I, I could sit and I could have coffee with you and I'd love going into this stuff. But I'm just telling you the way it is and how it works for us. And, and that's what he's trying to tell you is the reason why you were pulled over and all that stuff. And you and you said I'm just a man. I'm just a man. I appreciate that and stuff like that. If he's asking you for identification, you don't want to give it. I understand why you're not wanting to give it and why you believe that you don't have to give it and stuff. If he were to ask you, what would your name be given by the corporation or the land as far as government is what we see as government? Would you have a legal name under that? What would be your false name that would you be giving? Which would be the government name that we go to that would be given to you? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yep. And if you're comfortable in providing that with him. That'd yeah, no, I'd ra I that's would, what he wants. Yeah, I'd rather, not, I'd rather not provide anything because, again, once I provide any kind of information, I'm contracting with him. Understand. And I would rather not contract with him. Again, th this, first of all, again, we can go back to you guys' rules. Mm -hmm. Those red and blue lights are not to be pulled, pe pulling people over. Those are emergency lights. They're to be used to, for people to move over so they can move past. Just by me pulling over, I have submitted to something that I know is incorrect because the purpose of those lights are emergency lights. They're not for pulling people over. So let me I did you. so because I understand that That's in today's day and age, Why do that if I do over? not do that and I go like this and say, sure, sure. go ahead, which is what it actually tells you you should do when a policeman pulls up behind you and the regulation says, oh, roll down your window, pull over and wave him on. I did not do that because then he'll say, Oh, you were trying to... I understand the psychology of how most officers think. Well, I understand... You, you, you complied, and you pulled over and stuff, and that's a start. Because I, I want this interaction. Well, that's I great. want and the I, interaction one way or the other. We have to get it on record. Have you been? Have you interacted like this in a court of law already? I, I would rather not get into that. Understood. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, and if you have... I have a lot of experience in, in a courtroom and with the material. Perfect. Perfect. And so with, with that being said and, and stuff, I, I, I just want you... So we're not wasting time and being naive on, on sure. understanding all this stuff. You're an educated man. You understand what your beliefs are. We have our certain rules that we have. They're not my, can we just stuff. say, I don't mean to be, I'm not being a dick. They're not my beliefs, sir. It's well, a knowing that I've come to based on eternal truth. This truth is not going to change whether you, you understand. It your heart. It's a conviction. It's a, it's a conviction. The same thing the court will have Absolutely. to use to either convict Absolutely. me or not because it rests in my heart and it cannot be changed by any other man's belief. Absolutely. A belief and a conviction are two very different things. I understand. I you understand. Know? I understand. And you hold it true to yourself. Absolutely. I live, by, I live by certain morals, logic, and ethics that I hold myself to so at, you have at, a belief, at all times. You have a belief in the Constitution. Not a belief. I have a knowing that the Constitution is codified based on universal law, that no man has the right to rule over any other man. That will always be a truth since the day we came Understood. here to the day we die, because it is illegitimate and is based on coercion, duress, and force. So you have a knowing. I have a knowing. It yeah. is unchanging. I am the same yesterday as I am today as I will be tomorrow. Okay, and I hope you can respect it, obviously. We have a knowing and understanding. You have a belief system that you are adhering to, and, and it is not in line with truth, sir. It may not be in line with your truth. But no, the truth is unchanging. Truth. You have your perspective. I have my perspective. Well, that's by just us, it. That's a difference. By us that's conversing, we come to one truth. Absolutely. And well, that truth is unchanging. 
we may not come to an agreement on the truth, but we will come to a truth. The universe has it. has one truth that I we all must come to understand. If we don't, we will suffer consequences I, well, individually I, and together. I appreciate your cooperation. And sure. Staying with it, you've been more than pleasant to deal with on it, and I've dealt with many people that that have the same understanding of things as you do and stuff like that. So. Let me talk to my officers and see what the plan is here and stuff, and I appreciate your cooperation. I appreciate you, sir. You. You've been cordial with me. You had a good yeah. rapport with me, and you no haven't been forceful in, in I, any way. I got no reason why. So thank you for your cooperation. Give me one second, my man. I appreciate thank it. You, thank sir. you, sir. So how would you refer to would you refer to me as Mr. Valdez or just a man? So I know from my education. Mis Mr. Valdez. I don't respect I don't expect you to say Sergeant Valdez or yeah, anything. Yeah, I mean like even that. a judge, right? Like yeah. any man, once you take it out of the you know, a man has duties and responsibilities. Right? So one of those duties and responsibilities would be acting as someone. Sure. Right? So a judge is acting as a judge, but he is a man first. If so, you're if you're employed in whatever you do, what's your like trade and what do you do that's your specialty as far as employment? Would you be referred to your title of employment? So, like, if you were a DJ or something at a club, absolutely would, not. So, how do you absolutely not? How because that is that it? is that is a re, an ability to respond. That is a responsibility that I take on in order to generate currency in, in in this realm. But who I am and what I am is even beyond a man. Because the man is, I'm I'm only taking temporary possession of my physical body. But how do you end up doing it? Like, how, how do you how would you classify your job title yeah. and stuff like that? This guy's distracting me, I'm if, sorry. I'm sorry, if you had a job title, like how would you classify yourself in a job title to work? If you, you do, do you work? I'm so okay, so you do work and you get U.S. currency and all that stuff like that, and you do have to pay taxes. And oh, I don't get like into that. all that. I'm not going to get into it, all that. It, regardless of that, if you have a title, do you yeah. have to put a title? If you go to apply for a job, do you have to adhere well, to that well, title? Well, I mean, that, that, title, that title, while I'm operating under that... Um, what, what, what would be the word here? Uh, but like in that you, capacity. When I'm operating... Company, though. Yeah, when I'm on their clock and sure. I'm taking money from them back to commerce, commerce, right? If I'm employed on the roadways, then I'm classified as a driver. So, so you, you would refer to me as, as a, a driver. As but a if, driver. I, if I'm not taking money to do a service, then I have no classification or title. Which well, that's I, why I know, asked you about it. Like if you yeah. were a DJ at a club and stuff and you were taking money from... I'm DJ... From club, uh, yeah, I'm DJ, DJ. Uh, jerk off, yeah, you know, DJ when, whoever. <laughs> uh, DJ on Friday man. night when I'm taking money and I'm in the club, but I'm still a man first, right? Okay. Like I'm acting as a DJ, just like we're all acting, you know, in the world. Like Shakespeare said, you know, all the world is a stage. We're all players upon it. I understand. You know? Okay. So you cover your VIN for the purposes of no identification and stuff like that, right? Well, I just, you, I just know the, I just know the whole routine, and I know that there's always going to be some end road into trying to build a case. And this vehicle is not stolen. There's no, this vehicle is not reported stolen. There's no reason to believe I'm not the owner of it. So I don't believe that anybody has the right to. Well, that, but that's the thing. I mean, for for us to not, to, the, the ignition's not punched. You cooperated. You pulled over. Those are uncharacteristics of somebody of who's stolen a vehicle and stuff like that. But I mean, through. And I don't want to get into semantics for us. <laughs> through our beliefs of what we have and stuff as far as operating a vehicle on a world way, way, it has to be licensed, registered, all the stuff that you already know and stuff, what our beliefs are and what we practice and what we adhere to. Ben, ben has to be present, all that stuff that we have. There also is like officer that. discretion on all these things. Yes, because if I, if I provide you with an understanding that, you know, lead you to a deeper understanding on your end of what I'm out well, here doing and I'm not causing any loss, no, injury, not. or harm, then... No, you've you been know. more than cooperative with me and that's why they called me over here and stuff so I could talk to you about this because I'm also fascinated by all this stuff sure. too. I and that's I a good thing, man. I, it's great to see Well, I want police. to myself on it. <laughs> and, and, but, that, but that's the thing. You say it like it's common sense. I've dealt with a lot of officers and they'll tell me, listen, I don't even care what the truth is. And they'll tell me, D you seem like a smart guy, just do as you're told. So... What I have told my officer, instructed my officer, is you know, obviously you have your 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 idea of what what you're gonna do and what you're what you're focused on and stuff. And I said, well, you know, if he's not gonna identify himself and 
you know, we're not going to issue him a summons or anything else like that. And he's been more than cordial with us stuff. I asked him to get the VIN at least off the vehicle so we could document the VIN on the vehicle. And that's all I asked him to do. But you have the VIN covered up. So that's why he was looking for the VIN. And that's that's all I was telling him to do. And he was just going to cut you out of here and get you out of here. And stuff. Okay. So he, that's what he wanted to do. And if, if you're good with it, that's what I'd like him to do is just grab the VIN so we can get you out of here and get you on your way. And if you'd like my business card, I'll give you my business card. And more than happy to do now, that. Now, am I obligated to do that? No, I'm asking. I'm asking you. Uh, that's all I'm asking you. I'm you're personally asking. asking me. I'm personally saying, if, if you're good with it, if you can do the VIN and get my officer out of here, I'd appreciate it. Okay, and what's that's the reason for that? Mind. Just to make sure it's not a stolen vehicle. That's that's all I want to do. And I don't I don't believe, like I told you, you're being more than cooperative. You pulled over, which is not not common. And the fact that it's not punched or anything else like that. And I understand what you're, what you're practicing. Now, typically, I just stick with, I don't comply with anything. I, that I I'm not obligated that. to. Because as a man, you're asking me to do you a favor to make sure this vehicle is not stolen, I will do so. However, as a man, if something comes to that after what you just told me, because yeah. you are going to cut me loose, you're not going to give me any summons. I'm not going to pull you out of a car. I'm not going to take you to Jefferson County Jail. I'm not going to do anything. You're not going to give me any tickets or any summons? Uh, no, we're not. We're just going to grab the van. Okay. <laughs> if you're good with that. That's fine. Are you okay with my card? Sure. All right, I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get together on personal time, and have a conversation, I'm more than open and willing to do that. As a matter of fact, I look at it as a duty and a responsibility as an American to educate or to help, not even educate, I don't want to bring it to an ego thing, but to bring more understanding together to who and what we are doing here. You know, what our shared role in being Americans is. We had a Great Depression, they came in with a system, birth certificate, social security number, where the government promised everybody benefits and privileges in exchange for their rights, and all they had to do was be given a number and a secondary name. Yeah, that's that's fascinating stuff. Okay, well, I appreciate you talking to me about it and stuff like that. I appreciate you having a care in your heart, man. There's not many people nowadays who care for anything, let alone truth and what's right. It's a crazy world right now. Absolutely. As you know. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's why we need to do our due diligence and we need to be vigilant as far as serving truth. Because we can serve our belief systems, our egos, our careers, all this nonsense. If we don't serve the one truth, we're all going to lose it all soon, sir. We're going to lose our economy, our currency, which is a fiat currency backed by no gold and silver. It's losing its value day by day. They're moving over to electronic currency. There's a reason for all this stuff. This is not conspiracy theory. This is big corporations, big business, certain uh, big banking, central banking. Cartels, Bitcoin, Demo. Bro, it's all it's all connected. You know, the, you see the internet censorship now. You see the left-right division in the politics. You got Black Lives Matter. You got supposed right-wing racists. It's all divide and conquer, man. They've been doing it for, since back to Rome. These are intergenerational banking families. Let me give you one more thing. Go look it up. Bridge Anne de Avignon. She was 12 years old. She went down in Guinness Book of World Records, the first historian to find out that all the presidents except for one are blood related back to one king okay a king of france all the presidents except for one and this is all verified by mainstream media what is it bridge bridge and de avignon and then you can search up um you can search up uh 12 year old presidents related as keywords and okay. it will pop up on youtube might be kind of hard to find now but it should still be up there i gave it to someone last week she proved she went through all the genealogy and prove that f all of our presidents, except for Martin Van Buren, are linked to one king. So you explain to me how we're out here voting, and we have a, a right to vote, and we're choosing. How could they all be related to one king? Do you uh, do you do you believe in email and stuff, or no? You don't do it. I mean, yeah, why not? Uh, would you would you be willing to email me stuff? Sure. Can I put my email on there? Absolutely. On the card that I gave you. Oh yeah. Thanks, man. I don't think I have my email. And see, this is what we're out here doing, and oh, I'm not... It it's right there, actually. Never mind. This is a good officer, and I want to put this officer on camera. This is Ricky Valdez. They just pulled me over. No license, no place, no nothing, but that's fine because you don't need that to travel from point A to point B. And this man was willing to listen to me and understand what I was saying, and he could tell that I'm up to... I'm, I'm not up to no good out here, you know? And this is what the human experience is Third supposed to be about. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. You have a good day, my friend. You take care of yourself. I appreciate you, Mr. Valdez. Thank you. Be, be safe, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.